So this is the number one most venomous snake. We'll see how he wants to behave for us today. Really, bro? Where, where are you going? What are you doing, bro? Today we are going to go ahead and go over our venomous snakes that we haven't already taken a look at. So that means our elapids, our cobras, our taipans, our boom slings, which are technically colubrids. Darnell is already getting really wild. He knows that he's coming out to play. So yeah, he's a, he's a fun one. We're going to go ahead and get him out. Uh, This is Darnell. He's our leucistic monocle cobra. That's why he's white. You can see cobras are not normally white in color, but he is. Um, he's a little more wild than Steve. A little more uh, willing to uh, come back on the hook and try to bite, but he's also not that bad. You can see him here. He doesn't really like holding still, but you can see that awesome white coloration. So monocle cobras are one of the most common venomous snakes capped in the United States. I'm not sure about other countries. These guys are capped very frequently, probably because they do have the most uh, genetic mutations and the most morphs, kind of like ball pythons do in the non-venomous world. Um, but just because they are common does not detract from the fact that they are highly, highly venomous. I mean, a, a cobra bite of any species is going to be extremely life-threatening. So these snakes are not to be trifled with. If you don't have experience, if you are not equipped to keep one uh, without dying, then don't get one because these snakes can absolutely, if you make one simple mistake, they can absolutely make you pay for it. So you really have to know what you're doing to keep snakes like these. Any elapids for that matter are going to be very, very capable of inflicting a mortal wound if they so desire. That was our uh, leucistic monocle cobra Darnell. So this here is Steve, my baby, although he has grown quite a bit, uh, my baby Indian Cobra or Spectacled Cobra. You can see uh, why they get that name Spectacled Cobra because on the back of his head, the back of his hood there, you can see a pattern that resembles a pair of spectacles. Um, not unlike how the Monocle Cobra has a similar pattern but with just one circle which is uh, similar to a monocle. Um, Steve is a pretty typical cobra. He pretends like he wants to kill you, but actually you can tell he means no harm, um, which you can see by the way he's entirely locked onto whatever he is over there and with his hood out. That means he actually likes it and wants to be best friends with it. He has no ill intention whatsoever and is a good boy. And uh, nothing anybody says will make me think anything different. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take out our female boom slang. We have three boom slangs, although this is our only female. So hopefully she breeds for us this year. She is by far the most shy and easy to handle of the boom slings. Hold them firmly, but not enough to hurt them. So the way I have her here, it is impossible for her to reach around and bite me, uh, which is the only reason that I'm doing this. I would never do this. Um, one, I would never do this with the front fang snakes because even though I do trust these gloves to an extent, I'm absolutely not uh, going to trust them with my life. Um, unless it's a rear fang snake because there's literally 0% chance of her actually getting through this glove. Um, 
But as you can see, she's actually not very bad to handle. She's very shy, very relaxed. Um, unlike the males, you may have seen my big male. He wants nothing more than to end my life. <laughs> so we will not be handling him today because I prefer to, um, you know, survive as long as humanly possible, even though I do deal with very dangerous snakes. Um, but you can see her body condition is fantastic. She came in a little skinny as a fresh import, um, but now she is thriving and hopefully she will be able to produce babies for me in the next year or so. I really do love the boom slings. They're just so cool. They have these nice big eyes. They're super arboreal. They love to climb. Just a lot of really cool things about these snakes. We're gonna go ahead and drop that because there's no point in letting her sniff my hand. That's not something that I personally need to see her do. But this is the boom sling, the most toxic rear fanged venomous snake on the planet. And one of the only colubrids that can absolutely take your life if you are not careful. <laughs> that is the female boom sling. You may notice that she is a brown or dark gray coloration. The males tend to be bright green or black or a number of other different colors, but the females are almost exclusively that more drab gray or brown coloration. Go ahead and take a look at one of our male boom slings. This is Will I Am. He's my original male boom sling, and he is much more wild than the female was. There we go. All right, so this is Will, short for Will I Am. He's our He's our male boom slang, one of our two male boom slangs. As you can see, he's a bit more of a pain in the ass to, to deal with. Really, bro? Where, where are you going? What are you doing, bro? Okay. All right, here's Will. As you can see, he's green. They are sexually dimorphic with the males being much brighter colored than the females. Um, the males are also a little less shy and a little more willing to uh, be a royal pain in the ass. I, I really don't know where he's going. I, I wish he, I don't think he knows either, but um, we're gonna go ahead and put him in here. Get on. So that we can give his enclosure a clean out. So that was our male boom sling. As you can see, he was much, much more of a pain to deal with than the female was. Um, he, he just kind of goes wild whenever you deal with him. The big, uh, I have a huge male in here, six feet long. He is impossible to deal with. I mean, especially in this room. Um, but yeah, we, we took him out only because I needed to clean his enclosure anyway. And uh, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're fun snakes. Oh, you're still here? In that case, you better like and subscribe. If you want, I guess.